piensen a México, piensen a las playas y los arrecifes. The quality of the water, the colors of the animals. Y hay la cultura maya, hay los cenotes, la selva, este, los animales. Quintana Roo es el estado más joven de, de México. En los últimos 37 años se ha experimentado un crecimiento vertiginoso. You have to realize that 30 years ago, nobody was here. The state of Quintana Roo, in the last 30 years, its population has grown by 1,000%. Sin embargo, como todo en la vida, junto con las oportunidades, vienen algunas amenazas. And this is the question we have for everybody, is how can we keep growing without continuing the damage to the environment that we already see? Este nivel de crecimiento, su velocidad y su, su no control está poniendo en riesgo los recursos naturales. All the ecosystems that we have here in Quintana Roo are threatened by the accelerated development of the coastline. The one that is threatened the most is, is, the, is the coral reef. If the reef disappears, then the white sands disappear, the clear waters disappear, and the coastal protection disappears. If the paradise goes, the whole economy goes. Imagine your children and your grandchildren coming back here to appreciate it in the same way that you have. I can't imagine a future with my kids without having the experience of a coral reef. I feel connected to the reef. Para poder entender el presente y el futuro de los arrecifes de coral, es necesario adentrarnos a la selva, un lugar mágico, la tierra de los mayas, nuestras tierras ancestrales. Este es también lugar de cenotes, fuente de vida. Las comunidades mayas se asientan alrededor de ellos porque son la fuente de agua dulce. Las raíces de los árboles son para los mayas la conexión con el inframundo, donde existe un sistema muy complejo de agua. Ninety-nine percent of the water in the Yucatán Peninsula is groundwater. We are trying to unveil the mystery of how much water there is where it's coming from, what's the quality of it, and if there are any contaminants, where are they coming from? A diver can enter into a cenote eight and a half kilometers inland from the coast and navigate the cave system without ever seeing the light of day and come out onto the coral reefs of Tulum. The aquifer of the Yucatan Peninsula replenishes from rain. And in a place where the rocks are very fractured and therefore very permeable, water and any other liquid infiltrates immediately to the aquifer. We are looking for two main groups of contaminants. The first are related strictly to human activities, and the other is related to agricultural activities, pig farms and poultry. Una muestra. Excelente. Órale. Oro solido. Oro líquido. We can physically enter the aquifer here and show people just how magnificent this area is, but also the risks that we run in contaminating a very important and, to this point, very uh, pristine natural environment. We know now also that the discharges of pollutants into the ocean are damaging the coral reefs. One simple thing that anybody visiting this area can do, take your batteries home, would be an incredibly important thing that you could do. One major threat to the system is uh, the batteries. And we are only just now developing the methods to, to 
to dispose of them properly. Cancun is the result of a master plan, a plan of the Mexican government. The country desperately needed an infusion of foreign currency. There are a million people in the area who work, go to school, build their houses, spend money. And the question is, where would they be if Cancun didn't exist? Buenas tardes. Desde los años 70, Cancún empezó a emigrar, emigrar a la gente en busca de trabajo, en busca de empleos. Ahora que Cancún finalizó la, todo lo que es la construcción, se vienen para acá, para, la, para Playa del Carmen y para la Riviera Maya. Vienen de, de, de todas partes, de Yucatán, de Campeche, de Tabasco, de Veracruz. Playa del Carmen es el, es el destino de, donde más llega el turismo de la Riviera Maya. Today, there is no plan for the Riviera Maya. Playa has the fastest urban development rate in Latin America. Esto tiene que parar porque cada día hay más hoteles, más construcciones, más restaurantes, y pues todo se está acabando de lo que es la naturaleza. The current population is expected to multiply by four in the next six years. Playa del Carmen sewage system plant can only handle part of the city's waste, all of which is putting incredible pressure in our coral reef. <laughs> 